Hello kindergartners, it's Miss Kish and I'm back with another read aloud for you guys today. I thought that today we would share The Bad Seed. This book is written by Jory John and the illustrations are by Pete Oswald. Now you might remember that a few weeks ago I read you guys a book called The Good Egg. This is another book in the series, but this time instead of a good egg, it's about a bad seed. So let's go ahead and read all about this bad seed. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. Look at that seed. He does not look very happy. And you see all the other little seeds pointing to them. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I bet he is so smelly. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. And a lot of other bad things too. You know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun and we were really close. If you look closely, you can see all of his family members on that seed with him. And he doesn't look so mad and upset back then. Let's find out what happened to him. But then, the petals dropped and our flower drooped. What happened to all the seeds when the flower drooped? They all fell down. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. The bag says sunflower seeds, delicious. So after all the seeds fell, take a guess, where were they put? Everything went dark. And then, then, a giant. Uh-oh, it looks like this guy is eating sunflower seeds. I hope the bad seed's okay. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. Do you think maybe that's why he's such a bad seed and so unhappy? He was almost eaten. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. Uh-oh. What did he land in? I wouldn't want to land in that. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay. But something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. He does not look happy anymore. I don't know that I would look very happy either if I landed in gum. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was a friend to nobody and I was bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care and it suited me. But I also say thank you and I say please, and I smile, and I hold doors open for people, not always. 
but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking, maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. And if you look on that page, he looks much more happy than he did before. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. And that is the end of our story, The Bad Seed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed um, our story. I hope that you guys learned some ways that maybe if you're feeling down or you're feeling a little bad or upset, um, some ways that you can make yourself happy, like holding open doors for your family or saying please when your mom or dad makes something for you or gives you something, um, or even being nice to your siblings if you have siblings or your pets. So I hope you enjoyed the bad seed. I know I enjoyed reading it to you guys and I will be back again soon with another read aloud by kindergarten.